Hello, welcome back. Wait, am I recording? Yes. Hello, welcome back. Um, we searched for sites on our throne, we did not find any, unfortunately. Uh, Pan the Cloudy Prophet. Great stuff. Uh, Rim Mountains, we got attacked by a large group of trolls. And in Cloudcat Spires, unrest and magic from children disappearing at night. Uh, worldwide event, blood magic, rituals, blood magic rituals are still cheaper. Uh, and then there was a battle in Rim Mountains, we got attacked by trolls in our. Jade Amazon province. There's a lot of trolls too. We had our site. No, we had a mage here putting up a lab. Or planning to put up a lab anyway. Uh, what do you think? Do we win this or lose this? Uh, my mage is casting Frighten. I think what's most impressive here is that our units don't route. What is your morale? 15. Pretty good. Uh, so we win the morale war in the end, I think. I'm kind of surprised we kept that. That's kind of impressive. So there we go. Uh, finished the Palisades in Ramk's Folly. Did some patrolling. Got two Princeps promoted. Alright, so here's the map now. Yeah, our borders are pretty much stabilized now, and we can really you can really see the the kind of picture of the world around us. Thanks to these couple of scouts, we've got pretty good. Um, my scouts are all going to head down to Kalem. I think Kalem's like my weakest neighbor. I think they're the neighbor that probably requires the least attention from me. Um, although, generally speaking, I should probably sometimes I have a habit of leaving small players alone when I should just kill them. Um, so I'm going to ram my scouts down here to just look, see exactly what Kalem looks like. And if they're really struggling, maybe we should just like flatten them pretty quickly. Um, if they're kind of getting by, I'll see if they get involved in a war or something. And then maybe we can attack Cassia instead. I've been speaking to Shinua, but who seems friendly. They do have 180 Bakemono on my border, but they seem friendly. So as long as we don't get attacked this turn, maybe we can um, attack Cassia with them. Because Cassia looks big. The Cassia extends all the way down from Shinu here to like north of me. So if they hold all of this territory, they could be very large. So good target to get kind of rammed by two people. Uh, that's the plans for the world anyway. Uh, otherwise, we're now patrolling Bidoin, Wakinum, Lost Canyon Range, going to be patrolling Mighty Pillars as well, uh, patrolling Ramk's Folly, and we are attacking Barnkeesh this turn. So skeletons and Princeps, right, yes. And also some Triarius. So I don't think we'll have too many problems. There might be something crazy here, like a mage. Like there might be a death mage, because there's long deads. Um, but we do have two priests, and they're on advance and cast spells in the end, so... I'll put one at the front and one all the way back, because there are archers in the province, so... I don't want to lose both commanders to getting clipped, but yeah. Um, also, this priest I moved into Exibothia last turn, did he have a disease already? Could we have two provinces that have disease sites next to us? That's kind of unfortunate, if so. I might go back and check the recording to see if he was already diseased. Because um, it's summer, he's not old age either, is he? No. Hmm. Lots of disease going around. We've also like, got Katiz here as well, so... Maybe he got... Because we picked up a disease here. Or maybe this was already here? Katiz is going to disease us, aren't they? We've got the temple down and there's a priest preaching here, though, so... Hopefully we can get some dominion here. I'll try and get this whole row covered in temples too. It's pretty safe. Uh, I'm claiming the throne this turn. And I think that's everything. Just buildings happening this turn. So we'll have the fort upgrade finished here this turn. Uh, currently just recruiting H1 priests. We uh, have started a fort upgrade here. Currently just recruiting H1 priests. And I also started a lab in Rem Mountains to get some... Uh, it's sorceresses. And then after that we'll start putting forts down in these two provinces, I think. Uh, or maybe this one. My cap, still very little recruitment. I'm getting one Triarius and another little Thamaturg. Uh, and that's it for this turn. I'm the last person to take my turn though, so... I'm just going to check the video, and then I'll see you in a moment. Hello, welcome back. 
Uh, I got research in conjuration done. So, not much here yet that we'd use. Um, although then again, we're about to recruit some nature mages out of that Amazon province. So, does that mean there's things we would use? Also, no. I don't think so. Uh, we don't need scouts. Probably not going to summon shades. Alright, there's really nothing here we're going to use, I don't think. Maybe later on in the game we might need some wolves or something. Um, but we're about to get power of the spheres and also dark knowledge, which were both pretty useful, I think. But that's fine. Uh, well, we're doing okay on research now, 86. That's going to start catching up soon. Uh, we claim the Outer Throne, and we had a battle in Bonkish. Uh, I said there might be a mage here. There are three mages here. <laughs> there is a Circle Master and two Conjurers, all of whom have Death Gems. So usually what you'd be worried about is mages spamming Horde of Skeletons. Although, in our case, they spam dust to dust and kill all of our units. Like that. <laughs> I just hear the like individual squares of skeletons just popping every time. That's fine though. We're still moving up to do the banishes on the skeletons. The priests survived for a very long time until then. <laughs> One random archer just decides he's going to shoot the priest. Which is a shame. Uh, eventually we overcome though. A bit scary. Uh, so that was Bonkish. Yeah. Three mages. Unfortunate. Uh, so we lost a priest and a bunch of skeletons, but otherwise it's fine. Uh, event in Bithine then. Good omens. Good old lucky Bithine. <laughs> Great province. Uh, Petrolda and a Garthen Scout. Finished our fort upgrade in Bithine. And that's about it. So here's how the map looks now. Still pretty quiet. Uh, I am just planning on turtling for a bit and doing research. So I'm not planning at uh, not planning on lunging at anyone in the short term. So I'm still just going to continue and play it safe, just try and get scouts through people, get a sense of what's going on, and uh, get up infrastructure and do research. So we've got a lab down in Rim Mountains now, going to start recruiting Jade Sorceresses, so doing a little bit of site searching while I'm here. And we should have an upgraded fortress in Ramp's Folly next turn, which is nice. Uh, we have an upgraded fortress in Bidon. Can these be upgraded further? They can, in fact, be upgraded to castles. Okay. There's like a luxury upgrade. Uh, for now, though, I'm going to get two more H1s. Uh, I'm going to have five H1s in all my external forts reanimating, and then we'll switch to researchers. And that's fine, I think. So, Bidon's getting two H1s, a bunch of Treoriuses, Ranks Folly, still getting one H1, and a bunch of Velites, because there's very little resources here. Uh, we have a swamp next to us, and uh, not much else. Uh, Lost Canyon Range, we're doing some patrolling. Mighty Pillars, we started putting up a palisade. That's another 600 gold. Uh, scouts are moving down this way. Light Search is moving to Oak Halls. New Priest has been recruited. And in my cap, we're up to 5 Triorises and a Thamatug. Uh, I might just switch to recruiting Grand Thamatugs next turn, though. Because we, could, we should probably start recruiting those now. So we're getting little mages in our external forts. Because next turn we'll start recruiting Thamaturge in Bithone. And then, not long after that, we'll start getting them in ranked volley. Uh, so that's fine. Uh, income is up to 1654. It's not too bad, I suppose. We still need to push our scales out a little bit, though. So we should still see some improvement. Ah, but that's turn 17, so short one. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Hello, welcome back. Uh, I made a slight change at the end of last turn, but um, first of all I'll watch this. So we had a province next to us for a long time that had uh, Pisaches and Ghanas in it. Uh, and basically I just moved some stuff next to it in order to try and take it. It looks like uh, Shinu has taken it already. Uh, funny fight though. So Shinu basically loses. 
all his army routes. But then, this one Bakemono chief, this absolute king, just puts in some serious work, chasing everyone else off the field, uh, really earning his paycheck. Chases this guy all the way out, kills him in the end. Uh, MVP, Bakemono chief. Big, uh, big up to Sanitomo. Uh, yeah, so uh, Shinoyama took Barra. So that was this province. So basically last turn, I, I had some stuff moving to Impassable, but I just devoted them to Bidine instead. And I also had a Mage Caster animation. So we had quite a bunch of stuff here that we could have just sent through the pass and taken this, but uh, yeah. Looks like Shinu has taken it. Oh well. Uh, we searched for sites and didn't find any. Uh, caught another Agathan Scout. Finished the construction of the fortress in Ranks Folly, which is nice. Did some patrolling, got some promotions. So yeah, still a very, very quiet turn. Doesn't look like anyone's attacking us just yet. I can see build-ups of Cassian forces though. Uh, and some lizards here as well. That's not great. But we'll keep an eye on them and see where they move. I am moving a big stack of dudes to uh, Laratos this turn to help patrol. Uh, province defense here is 14 now. Something. I suppose if I was really paranoid, I could also move the stuff out of ranks folly to here as well. And we'll see how it goes though. I think I'll put these guys up here and have them on attack rear. We'll let the living PD unit defend and then those guys can try and get around the back. Um, but as long as we don't get attacked here, yeah, things are still looking pretty quiet. I'm still just threatening Scouts around the edges of Kalem's territory to see how large he is. Looks like he might actually be decently sized. I don't think anyone is like too super huge in this game. Um, but other than that, our, our goal is still the same, just to get up infrastructure for now. So uh, we're recruiting Thamaturgs and Bidine. Got all the stuff here. Luria, we're getting our first Grand Thamaturg. Uh, Ranks Folly getting a couple more H1s, but we've got all the buildings here now. I'll switch to Thamaturg soon. Uh, next palisade is going down in Mighty Pillars, and I'm getting a temple up here as well now. Uh, and I'm moving a mage over to put down a lab too. Um, so that's all fine. We'll start our next forts in Lost Canyon range and Impassable Mountains after that. And I'll just try and get research done. Up to 98. Our scales are spreading, so we've got Magic 1 in Ranks Folly. 2 in Bidine. Uh, we'll eventually get to 3. Uh, and that's it for now. So as long as we don't get attacked here, things are okay, you know. Uh, I am now searching Oak Halls for sites, so if the Holy Force site is a Holy site, we should find it since this guy's H3. Um, but I guess we'll find out. We also have our first Nature Mage next time, which is nice. So I might also send them walking around site searching. But we'll see what happens. Uh, and that was 18, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.